Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media and today we're doing a first impressions video of a new mobile gacha game from Bandai called Black Clover Phantom Knights. Now this game came out a couple days ago and the release has kind of flown under the radar because I mean at the very least nobody that I know personally has been talking about it or playing it and if you check the Google Play Store right now it says like only a hundred plus downloads at the moment which is never a good sign so i'm not really sure what's going on there i mean i always thought that black clover was a fairly popular anime so i'm a little bit surprised by that but regardless of the reception regardless of the lack of hype i personally have been looking forward to this game for quite some time at least a few months i'm a big fan of the series and now that the global version is finally out let's check it out together in this video without further ado we're gonna jump in and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so we have the Wizard King Julius. He says, hey, thanks for coming. I've called you here for but one reason. I know, I know I'm blocking a little bit of the text, so I apologize for that, but I'll read it to you guys so it's all good. You've achieved a lot despite not being a captain for long. I have a favor to ask you. I want you to show me the strength of your brigade's magic. You know what they say, make hay while the, magic's, while the magic lasts. I don't know who says that, but okay, so it looks like we have a battle tutorial here. He says, welcome, oh no, it's Belle. Welcome to the world of Black Clover Phantom Knights. I'm Belle and I'll be your guide. I'm the Wind Spirit, one of the four great nature spirits, so you better give me lots of respect. A battle with the Wizard King, I think you'll be probably, you'll probably be okay, but uh, I'll be supporting you. So let's show the Wizard King what you've got. First, let me explain how battles work. In auto battle, your allies will use their learned abilities automatically. Makes sense. Now let's watch them fight for a bit. Okay, so just our characters auto battling, nothing too crazy. The enemy drops some red gems and blue gems. Getting these by attacking enemies is super important, so listen carefully, okay? Okay, so as we attack the enemies, they'll drop gems, which I'm assuming we can use for abilities, maybe? Okay, so that was, that was the first wave. Collect enough red gems and the gouge. Oh man, the gauge? The gauge? I think it's gauge, right? Man, I keep messing that word up every time it comes up. I think it's gauge. Uh, collect enough red gems and the gauge on the bottom left will fill up, allowing you to use AOM. Uh, okay, let's click that. What's AOM, you say? It stands for All Out Magic. Oh, kind of reminds me of like the All Out Attack in Persona. Probably something similar. Don't judge it till you try it. Your leader will activate a unique skill targeting a single enemy and attack the leader's neighboring allies will join in too. Pretty much the same thing as the persona attack. Usually you need red gems to use AOM, but I'll let you use it for free this time. Try pressing the button on the bottom left to use AOM. Okay. So we're gonna click that. Alright. That was kinda cool. I mean, the animation could have been more exciting but not too bad good job enemies will drop more blue gems than usual when you use aom final wave blue gems will increase your arcane art gauge and are split automatically among allies uh okay so asta can use an attack now try using asta's arcane art so i'm clicking on asta i'm blocking him a little bit but he's right behind me right there here we go Okay, that was kind of dope. Uh, Arcane Art AA are much more powerful than your allies' normal abilities, so be sure to use them at the right time. Finally, I'll teach you how to change formations. Okay, so there's a little arrow icon at the bottom here. The change formation button in the bottom right will automatically fill over time. By pressing the button, you can switch between your chosen formations. Every formation has a different skill that activates when you change formations, so be sure to check what they do when you get them. Now let's show the Wizard King what you can do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use... Oh, do I, am, I, am I doing something? Okay. Wait. <laughs> Yo, I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to do, and then we just won. Okay, so... I still have a very rough idea, really. Like, I, I really don't know how it works. But we have a little bit of an idea, I guess, of how the battle mechanics work. I'm not really sure if... Like, it's always gonna be auto-battling, and you're literally just activating the skills, or... 
can we turn auto battle off at some point? Everything that you guys are learning right now, I'm learning for the first time as well. Incredible, your brigade members are so strong, they've even learned some new magic. I'm really impressed with how strong you've become. Can I count on you to continue using your magic for the good of the Clover Kingdom and its people? Dot dot dot. So much happened after you were made captain. It's thanks to you that we were that we're all still here. Or should I say it's all thanks to your brigade? Okay. Some months earlier. There is 183 megabytes of new data start download. Okay, we're gonna download this, and obviously I'm not gonna make you guys sit through it, so. I'll be back in hopefully a couple minutes. We'll see how long it takes. All right, so the download just finished and now we're supposed to name our Magic Knights Brigade. Obviously, I'll be calling mine the Tiger Squad. That is not how you spell it, Squad. There we go, confirm. Uh, I am sure, yes. And okay, now let's make our knights stronger. Choose enhanced character from the brigade menu. All right, so brigade menu, and then here you can see the status of your characters and enhance them with enhanced character. The more characters you have, the more powerful your brigade will be. Okay, brigade bonus. You can check the status of your brigade's battle bonuses in brigade bonus. Now let's try enhancing some knights. All right, so we're gonna click on Asta. Uh, enhance characters by tapping on them to go to the Grimoire board. Okay, so this is like a hidden potential system kind of thing that a lot of gacha games obviously have. Um, so am I clicking on stuff? Unlock spaces on the Grimoire board to strengthen your knights. Not only can you enhance their attack and defense, you can also enhance their newly learned skills and AA as well. Uh, Grimoire points GP and enhanced materials are required to unlock spaces. Grimoire points are gained through battle and by exchanging slates, which can be found in every region. Enhanced materials can be found in the various regions, so collect them while protecting the kingdom. So let's try enhancing Asta. The spaces you are able to unlock will glow. For now, try unlocking up to his blue defense plus two space. Okay, so click on that. And enhance. See how a line connects all the way up to that space. Okay, blah blah blah, pretty standard stuff. Enhance. Okay. Uh, even if you don't have enough grammar points, you can make up the difference as long as you have some slates. Well, this is just to give you an idea of how it works. Don't worry about it too much. Press the OK button. Alright. Uh, here you will be able to confirm what you have enhanced. Alright, so his defense goes up by 2. Everything displayed in green will be enhanced. Hit confirm and make and watch Asta get stronger. Asta? Asta? I don't know. I'm bad with pronunciations. You guys know that though. Uh, now Asta's uh, been enhanced. Tap OK to return to the Grimoire board. OK. If you feel enemies are becoming a bit too strong, you should come here and enhance your knights. Don't forget, select brigade, then enhance character. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, evolution. Tap evolve to evolve your brigade members. Interesting. Unlock pages on the Grimoire board by evolving and raising a character's rarity. Um, okay. Learn powerful abilities and power up your arcane art on the unlock page. You need Yule and either the character's sheets or phantom sheets to evolve. I don't know what that means, but alright. Evolve your members and make the strongest brigade ever. Okay, can we get to some summons please? I'm just itching to summon. Well, that about wraps it up. Now, let's gather some new characters to make your brigade even stronger. Okay, so here is the summon. Obviously, the most exciting part of any gacha game tutorial. Usually, you'll need black jewels to get new brigade members, but I'll let you do it for free just this once with a special spell I know. Okay, so one free summon. Um, I hope it's a multi and not just a single, but I'm gonna guess it's just a single. And we do have a chance to pick up a 5 star Mimosa, Luck, Mars, Lotus, or Jack. Definitely don't want Lotus. Uh, I'll be totally, totally happy with Mimosa, um, Mars, or Luck. Alright, Jack will be okay too. He's kinda creepy, but kinda cool too. Um, but definitely looking for the first three I mentioned, alright? So one free summon. Here we go. I mean, chances are we probably won't even get a 5 star. Unless it's guaranteed. We'll see. So here is the animation. 
gotta say it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Got the grimoire coming out of the the shelf. And then let's open. Oh! Hey, you know what? It's not a five star, but if I were to get any other character, Vanessa would be the top choice. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Accept this result, you can resummon 99 more times. Oh, you can re-roll. Oh, we can re-roll the single. Like the, t the tutorial summon. See, that changes things. I really like Vanessa, but I think I gotta retry for a 5-star. I mean, let's be real. If I have the chance to do 99 singles for a 5-star, why wouldn't I do more, right? So that one... When we pulled it out, it was gold, I believe, and then we ended up getting a four star. So for this one, it was silver. I'm guessing it's not going to be as rare, maybe a three star. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Definitely not keeping this dude. So I'm going to retry there. So we're going to look out for different animations now. So far, we got gold book or grimoire. We got silver grimoire. Uh, same thing this time. Although, is that light new? Or did we get that light last time as well? Sure. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we got Transform Gray. I love Gray. One of my favorite characters as well, but uh, not keeping that three star man, especially after I gave up a four star Vanessa. Okay, can I just skip this? Yeah, we can. Oh, oh, with light again. Um, I'm gonna guess the three star still though. Yeah, Klaus. Okay, come on. Oh. Okay, there's the five. There's the five. Mimosa. Give me her, and we'll be good. We'll be done. The Rainbow Book's gotta be a five star, right? <sighs> oh, Jack. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, I would be okay with the Jack, but. Mm, I, I, no, I can't do it. We're gonna retry. We're gonna retry. Oh, interesting. So you can get a silver book and then it can become a gold book. I'm assuming it can also become a rainbow book as well. So there's kind of like fake outs in this game. Uh, definitely not keeping that four star Sally, but that's good to know. There are kind of these fake out animations. All right, gold book. Let's turn. There we go. Okay, so you can go from a gold book to a rainbow book as well. Our second five star pull is it something oh yeah okay okay this is it this is it mimosa mimosa yo we're keeping her that's the one guys that is the one mimosa is more than okay you got some new members actually, i actually only got one member of course the more members you have the more powerful your brigade will be well, that's it for my advice. If there's anything you want to review or aren't clear on, check the how to play button in the options. Strengthen your brigade lots so you can protect the Clover Kingdom. Obviously, I'll start that download, but I won't make you guys sit through it. Uh, I think that's going to do it for the first impressions. We did some summons. We went through the battle tutorial. Um, overall impressions right now, I'll say it looks pretty good. I mean, graphics wise, it's not bad for a gacha game i mean it's not the best i've seen but it's definitely not the worst i've seen either the music seems to be pretty good as well uh pretty faithful to the anime and uh i don't mind the summoning animation either it's nothing crazy but it's pretty nice it's it's better than a lot of other gacha games i've seen um namely things like <laughs> bleach brave souls or even Epic 7, uh, despite like how good the animations are in that game overall, I feel like has some really boring summoning animations. It's literally just like different colored lights. So uh, yeah, it's not too bad overall. And I'm excited to keep playing this game. You know what? I was about to end the video there, but then we got a few summoning tickets for the beginner login bonus. So we're going to use those tickets first before we get out of here. Okay, so we have this banner right here. Um... There's a mage summon, there's also a release celebration banner with all the captains, or at least a lot of them, which 
is definitely a lot more hype. So we're gonna go for this one. I definitely want me a Yami. He's my favorite character in the entire series. So uh, let's pray for him. We have two tickets, so basically two singles and no summoning currency. So this is basically all I can do at the moment. And I'm guessing the chances of us getting a five star from one of these, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. And turn, oh, turn gold, okay. So at the very least, we're getting a four star. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. What's it gonna be? Can it turn? Oh, Kato, the the dancer dude. Okay. So we're gonna summon again. One more ticket to go before we are done with this video. Maybe I should do another stage too. You know what? No, no. This video is long enough. Video is long enough. You guys already saw what you need to see. Turn gold. Ah, didn't turn gold. Okay, so that's a three star, I think. That's our first three star from summons fake out ah, no fake out. i hate this guy okay well that's too bad uh we don't have any currency like i said we used our two tickets at least we got a four star and uh, i will be back i'll be back for my boy yami what are the rates summon rates okay um yami 0.5 percent yeah so don't expect a <laughs> captain if you add all these up it's what one two Three, three and a half percent, three point five percent chance of getting a five star captain, um, and a much higher chance, obviously, for a four star and then three star as well. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, yo, let me know in the comments down below if this video convinced you to at least give this game a shot. I feel like it deserves a little bit more respect than it's been getting. Uh, it's been out for a couple days and almost nobody has been talking about it, which I think is really sad. So give this game a shot if you have the time. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.